Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. I've obviously done the entrance here. Whoops, that's some terrible driving on my behalf. Anyway, um, in this episode, I thought we would build a bit of an explorer. And as we're doing trucks, I thought we would make it like a big polar explorer. And I've sort of got two ideas in my head, and I don't know which one I should build. One is sort of, if I could call it the centipede concept, and the other one is much more like you know a big arctic explorer as we're doing trucks I kind of feel like I should do the big arctic explorer it probably fit a little bit better okay that's what we'll do we'll do a big arctic explorer all right all right all right let's let's see what I come up with okay so as always I've started to get a very basic shape together the idea is that there's a nice big open area in here that you know, I can walk around in and have my stuff, and bed and chests and all that sort of stuff and walk up through into the main cabin up here which is obviously going to be the drive. Um, I put in a second seat just because it, it, it looked good. It, I don't really need one, I have no friend. Which, anyway, moving on. That's the idea. Looks like a big old square right now but I'm hoping that's going to change quite a bit. Um, I don't know if I like those windows but we will see. Probably spent the last 20 minutes just keep changing the shape of the outside. I can't pick a shape that I like. Um, nothing seems to work for me. Hmm. Alright, I've settled on something like that for the main body. I've obviously put in whoops, the front wheels on suspension and steering. Um, and the rear wheels are just another one of those same arrangements on the back here. Probably can see the back kind of easy. But um, yeah, I've still got a lot left to do. Now I've got to try and put a front on this and not make it look like flat, square, and same on the back. And then fill it up full of goodies and make the doors work and, and, and lots of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's what I've done so far. It's not quite the shape I would like, but hey, it's a shape. Well, I've been mucking around with the paint a little bit to see if I can make it look a little bit better. And well, to be honest, I just, I'm not having luck with this thing. It looks a lot better painted than it did unpainted. It's just, it's very ugly on the outside. I'm hoping I can make up for it on the inside. It's not really working out the way I saw it, unfortunately. No matter what I do, this thing seems to keep getting uglier and uglier. It's actually starting to make me laugh. I, 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 yeah, it's kind of funny. Anyway, I have uh, done the front, as you can see. Um, it's not so bad from the inside. Um, it's supposed to be the cockpit down here we can get in and out of and now I need to build in the rest and the doors and stuff but uh, yeah it's one ugly duckling that's for sure <laughs> we've got the main storage bank up the front here because hopefully we'll do a lot of looting we don't ever want to run out of inventory space in this vehicle even if we go and get lots of um, embers and things and then coming down the back we've got uh, two beds and some chests and things um, this is so you can use two players but also in time they're gonna nerf the beds you can only use each bed I think five times and it'll be destroyed so it'll be good to have a backup with you in this vehicle anyway um, and I've changed out the other seat for a navigator good old cookpot navigator okay that was horrible I am scrapping it all I can't believe it didn't occur to me earlier what I need to do is build a like pickup truck as a scout I, I don't know what I was thinking of course I need to build a pickup truck I'm doing trucks that's that's just you know obvious I've barely begun and I already feel a lot better about this this, this, this should not end up being big and ugly I hope Excellent. It now has wheels. Bouncy, bouncy. 
I'll balance the suspension and get everything right once I've got everything else in. I've still got to get all the engines and give it a lot more shape and stuff. It's still very, very square. But I'm much happier with the direction this is going than the other one. And I think I'm just going to fill up the back with chests. It's starting to come along now. Um, if I jump up, we have a bunch of storage in the tray. I've got the same door system on this as I do on the other truck. Now I've got the engines and fuel tank up front here and I'm sort of working on a bit of detail work now and then some paint. Oh, and of course the spawn point underneath, can't forget that. I still need to fine tune the suspension and stuff, but even now it's, uh, it's got a bit of bounce to it so it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, let's let's see how I can finish this off and then see what it drives like. I think I've done enough paint for the moment. I think I should take it for its first test drive and see what happens. It's, uh, well, it's not so bad. Uh, a little too drifty still I think. I wonder do I need to stiffen up the suspension or shall I... No, I don't want to decrease the power. The whole point in this thing is that it's quick. Okay, let's uh, let's adjust some settings and try again. Okay, let's go for... Oh, I missed some paint on that rail. Let's go for a test drive. I've just popped up the road here. But here we go. Let's uh, head this way and see if we can find some jumps. It's got a real good top speed. Handles quite nicely even at top speed. It's good for drifting. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a jump. Come on, there's got to be a jump somewhere. The desert maybe? Well, that's the first jump I found, and it's sort of to nowhere, but we'll give it a go anyway. Not too bad. We need to find a better jump, though. That's a horrible one. Come on, jump. Let's do a bit of off-roading here. That's not so bad. <laughs> and the rollover. Oh, I can't find a jump, so let's just drive off this here cliff, eh? Oh, into the rocks. Terrible! But uh, I quite enjoy this. It's fast, it's agile, it jumps over everything. Cruising around the country and this is not going to be a problem. Fantastic. Well, I have not done enough jumps to satisfy myself, but... Oh, that's not a jump, that's a rock. Nice, still back on the wheels. But uh, I think it's time we head home and finish this up. One more, come on, one more. Oh, and it's a crash! Anyway, we're getting home now, and that reminds me, the only other thing that this has got is lights. But plenty of lights. Seeing where you're going whilst you're doing stupid speeds and jumps is not going to be a problem. Well, I suppose the only other thing to show you guys is the interior, which does not have too much going on for it. It's uh, just my seat, spare seat for the passenger, and some buttons and a little bit of a dashboard. It's all pretty plain, really. Um, but yeah, it's all about that cargo space. We can fill up as we can get a lot of loot now, which is great. We put fuel in here. So far, it's quite economical on fuel because there are two engines and also very fast. Anyway, I hope you guys like my pickup truck. I'm going to head out and do a little bit of exploring. See you guys on the next one.